Hi there, it's Simone. I'm here with a Swatching with Friends video. I have seven samples from Amy that I want to swatch today. I am using cotton swaps, a Kakimori brass nib on a Tachikawa acrylic nib holder. I'm using this uh, toothbrush holder from Daiso. I'm using these uh, swatch cards that I made myself. I recently shared well recently in april i shared a video where i told you uh, that i'm making them myself now and then here i received this amazing um wooden bead from summer wind arts um shauna sent that to me in a recent package and let me just tell you, I have wanted one of those beads since forever, but never pulled the trigger because I couldn't decide. And I'm so, so glad she sent me one. Thank you so much, Shauna. She has a channel here on YouTube as well. It's Serial Nana. I will link her below. But let me get back to the swatching. So I am swatching on Tomoe River Paper 52 GSM from Paper Penguin Co. It is a... The original paper, um, this was a, a five notebook that I cut down to standard size to fit into my traveler's notebook. And then I'm also swatching on those horizontal cards that I showed you earlier that are mixed media paper. Amy has been providing me with ink samples since we got to know each other uh, during the pandemic. Uh, she is also from the Bay Area, which I just moved away from. And leaving my pen friends behind is one of the saddest things that I, I'm i doing. I, Even though we don't meet up very frequently, just meeting up once every six months or every four months or so, uh, felt so good to know that there's actual people out there who have the same hobby and just like you know it's easy to talk to them and it's not awkward at all and so I hope I can see them maybe at the San Francisco pen show every year at least who knows um, but yeah and I also hope to to find people that are like me where I am moving to which is actually I moved yesterday. So if you are in the greater Reno area, please reach out and maybe we can set up meetings. I'm not trying to replace my friends, just find new actual real people who to talk hobby with. It would be so much fun. So the very first uh, swatch or ink that I swatched is Sailor Manu Nadeshiko. And I have to say, I really love this ink. I want to see this in a pen. I hope it's exactly the same bold blue with some chromo shading um, properties that I see on this sample uh, or on the swatch because it's just fantastic. I think I said that Amy sent me, has provided me probably with the most samples that uh, anyone can ask for. Sometimes I feel like every time, it, it's probably not the same, but every time she gets uh, new ink bottles, she just fills up a sample vial and sends it along to me. And it feels so good to have a friend like that. <laughs> um, sometimes her picks are not the ones that I would pick, but that's the joy of having friends who do not have the exact same tastes as you. You get to try things that you that are very much out of your comfort zone. And that's that's also sometimes a good thing because then you can discover that you might actually like something that you didn't think you would. Or it just confirms that you actually don't like that, which is fine too. I mean, it's just four milliliters. Some of those ink bottles are 50. So giving someone four milliliters of ink to play around with and realize, nah, that's not it, is totally okay. Helps justify purchasing more. Uh, the second ink, which is one of those, is Robert Oster Melon Tea. It's a khaki brown ink. Um, I didn't like it when I swatched it at first, but now that I'm looking at it on as a dried swatch uh, after... 
I filmed this in March, you know, I, wow, it's June and I'm filming this. I filmed this in March. So now that I'm looking at it, I could actually see myself using it. So it's not one of those that I would like pass along to someone else before I even use it. Um, the next ink that I swatched is Pilot Iroshizuku Fuyu Shogun or Siogun. I am really liking all the Pilot Iroshizuku inks that I have tried so far. And so she just sent along all the Pilot Iroshizuku inks that she hadn't sent me yet so that I could try them, which I'm really grateful for. That Fuyu Shogun I really want to use very soon. Um, I don't know when, but yes, very, very soon. Uh, and then I also, so I sent her a photo of the ink samples that I saw on other YouTube channels that I written, I had written down on my wish list. And she just looked through her inks and sent along everything that she had, which was also Ferris wheel blushing mushroom. Ferris wheel press blushing mushroom, which I'm swatching right now. And I can tell you that I like it in the swatch. I will probably not like it in the pen. Um, I am planning on participating in 30 inks, 30 days in September. I would have loved to do this in June, but since I'm moving this month and I'm also having lots of back problems at the moment, I decided it wasn't a great idea to do that. I would love to film along, maybe do Amanda B style or... I don't know. I mean, everybody follows Karina Loves to Plan, don't you? If you don't, you should go and check out her channel. But she told me that she was going to participate in 30 Inks, 30 Days. And she plans to film a roundup video every week. Um, I'm voicing this over uh, on the last day of May. No, the second to last day of May. I don't know why I always keep thinking it's 30 days in May. It's not 31st. So I'm I'm filming along or I'm recording this voiceover on the 30th of May. So I don't know what these videos look like, but I'm really, really excited to see how she is doing that because I'm very much afraid of committing to a video a day and not being able to uh, fully do that. So I'm really, really curious to see how she is talking about these inks in her weekly roundup videos. And maybe I could do it similarly then as she does. It definitely is not as intimidating as doing a daily video. Um, in the meantime, I swatched Robert Oster Motor Oil and I'm currently swatching P Pilot Iroshizuku Yamabudo. It is a magenta with gold sheen. I do have um, Diamine Deep Magenta, I think. Wow. Um, which is very similar in my opinion. And I don't think I need to purchase a bottle of this ink. However, um, these, these Irushizuku inks are absolutely amazing and behaving super well in all the pens that I have used them in. So I am really, really thinking very hard. And I mention this every time I swatch a Pilot Iroshizuku ink and use them in my fountain pens. I'm really considering stocking up of bottles of those inks that I really like. Um, I was going to say something else about 30 inks, 30 days. I'm thinking of maybe curating, not just like randomly selecting inks. I, I want to randomly select them, but I would love to do a pre-choice, maybe some shimmer, maybe some of them that I might not like, maybe some of them that I really am craving to use so that it's a nice mix of challenging myself to use something that I'm not sure about and stepping out of my comfort zone, but also having some comfort zone um, inks included. Um, yeah, you know, I have a lot of time right now because I am at home and I'm thinking about all the things so that I don't have to think about the things that I don't want to think about. <laughs> Um, and the last ink is Robert Oster Avocado. So all the Robert Oster inks that she sent me, not sure about those. And yeah, I. it sounds really weird and I'm not going to, to say that 
Robert Oster is not a good ink brand, but all the Robert Oster inks that I have used are not really super amazing for me, or I, I always find other inks that are very similar or behave differently for me in my pens. Um, so that I'm, I'm, I'm really hesitant to, to, to get a bottle of, of Robert Oster ink. Maybe it's also because I, I ordered those Endless Pens exclusives and they just did not turn out to be the colors that I would have liked. It looked like they were, my, maybe my monitor was wrong or um, they were edited on, on Instagram, which isn't a really, like, that's just what people do. Um, and so I was kind of burnt by that. And so maybe that's just sticking with with me. And here I am comparing all the colors that I swatched. Um, I'm looking for for matches. And you can see that there is not an ink in my on the swatch cards at least that are similar which makes this uh, Sailor Manu Narishiko even more attractive to me so yeah uh, and I also like that it is chromo, sh chromo shading but not as much as others um, I think I talked about this in last week's video yeah I can't keep apart the W and V uh, where I I said that I really like chromo shading inks on swatches, but when I have them in fountain pens and they are super shading, then it's really, really hard to read them well. So Melon T looks different on the swatch card than it does on the um, Tomoe River paper, which is also something to keep in mind, which is super interesting. I found Troublemaker Tablea to be similar. Um, Pilot Hiroshizuku Yamaguri Robert Oster Ma Motor Oil is, is very similar actually to Melon Tea, which I just swatched. And then the Dominant Industry Winter Wood and the Cobblestone is not really, really very similar. It looks like a very white uh, one of those. The next one is Pilot, Pilot Hiroshizuku Fuyu Siogan. It's a very light gray. That's another one of those reasons why I think I want to use this in a pen. I recently swatched all of the gray inks in my color comparison notebook and I liked it. I noticed that I really am gravitating towards inks that are purple, blue leaning grays, towards grays that are purple and blue leaning. I prefer them over red and um green leaning grays and these two Earl Grey by Diamine as well as Pilot Hiroshizuku Fuyu Siogan seem to be the ones that I prefer most. Um, yeah, next is uh, Ferris Will Press Blushing Mushroom. It's a darker purple than the other ones that I'm showing you right now, but it's similar in lightness to all of the ones that I'm having here. Um, yeah, and I probably already know that this is not going to be a winner in a fountain pen for me. But compared to many of the other light inks that I have, I would really love to try this. So we'll see. We'll see when it comes up. Um, if I am actually participating in successfully i want to participate but if i'm participating successfully in 30 days 30 days in september then i am considering joining in november as well and here is all the can you see that i'm very drawn to this color i am uh sailor manu i, I think maybe sailor manu akibi Hmm, I don't know. I also did a color comparison. Maybe I should bring those out in my next uh, videos when I actually have these colors swatched so I can show those. My color comparison notebook. Um, the Hiroshizuku is very, very similar to 
Sailor Manu Akibi in the swatch. The chromatography, it is absolutely not. Yamad Budo has gray and goes through magenta to this color. And then Akibi actually has blues in it, which is very different. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. The deep magenta is simil more similar to Yamabudo than Akibi, even though it doesn't look like it. But we are already, we've moved on to Robert Oster Avocado, which I do have some of these, col some colors that look similar. Um, but I think if I look at it now, I have not inked any of those in, an, in a fountain pen, which says a lot. So I'm done with the video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support, your comments. I would love to hear what was your favorite ink. Um, yeah, and I will see you soon. Bye.